this video, we will start the analysis of the calculation of the symbol error rate, the probability of error that we have when we transmit symbols in a digital communication system. And this probability of error is given by the conditional probabilities of error. When we transmit a given symbol, bi, or equivalently, we transmit its vector representation AI, we have a conditional distribution for the observation at the output of the demodulator. Conditional distribution of Q given that the transmitted symbol is AI. It is possible to define the conditional probability of error as the probability of error that we have when we transmit a given symbol. We will have an error when the decided symbol is different than the transmitted one. And this happens when the observation transmitting the symbol AI is out of the decision region of this symbol. And the probability of this situation can be obtained by integrating out of the decision region of the symbol of index I the conditional distribution of the observation given this symbol. Then the probability of error will be obtained by averaging these conditional probabilities of error. And if we have equiprobable symbols, the expression is simpler because the probabilities of error for the different symbols are replaced by 1 divided by the number of symbols in the constellation. We will start the calculation of a symbol error rate with a very simple case, a one-dimensional space, a binary case, two symbols, in this case the vectors representing the symbols are minus a and plus a respectively, we have these two symbols here in the one-dimensional input space, and with equiprobable symbols the decision regions are defined by a threshold in the middle between these two symbols, because a threshold at zero is splitting the observation space between the points that are closer to A0 and the points that are closer to A1. And with equiprobable symbols, we need to apply the uh, Gaussian noise. We will apply the minimum Euclidean distance design criterion. The symbol error rate will be obtained by averaging the conditional probability of error when we transmit A0 and the conditional probability of error when we transmit A1. If we transmit the first symbol, A0 or A0, its vector representation, the conditional distribution of the observation, given that we transmit this symbol, is a Gaussian whose mean is the vector A0, in this case minus A. And we need to integrate this Gaussian distribution out of the decision region of A0. We need to integrate it in the decision region of A1. This integral is equivalent to the area that we have in blue in this picture. We will use the Q function to obtain the integral for this Gaussian distribution and we will have Q of in the numerator the distance between the mean of the Gaussian and the threshold, which is A, and the denominator a standard deviation of the Gaussian distribution. In this case, a square root of the variance, a square root of n0 halves. If we transmit the second symbol, B1, or the vector representation A1, the conditional distribution of the observation is now a Gaussian distribution with mean equal to A1, equal to plus A. It is necessary to integrate this distribution out of the decision region of A1, for negative values in this case, and again, the integral can be obtained by means of the Q function. The distance to the threshold is the same one that in the previous case, is A, and at the denominator, a square root of N0 halves. So, the two conditional probabilities are equal in this case. Here, we have a visual representation of the probability of error because here we have one half of the conditional distribution given A0 and here we have one half of the conditional distribution of the observation given A1 and the probability of error is one half the integral of the first one 
plus one half the integral of the second one. This corresponds to the blue area that we have here plus the red area that we have here. The result obtained in this very simple one-dimensional space can be extended for two symbols equiparable with different coordinates, not necessarily minus a and plus a, because in any case, the threshold defining the two decision regions will be in the middle point between a0 and a1, and the distance of the two symbols with respect to the threshold will be half of the distance between the two symbols, and therefore the probability of error can be written by this general expression. Q function evaluated at half of the distance between the two symbols divided by a square root of n zero halves. This is the general result for a one-dimensional binary and equiprobable case. Q function of half of the distance between the symbols divided by a square root of n zero halves. This is a very well-known result.